don't mean to be rude, but do you work all the time? I try to pick up as many double shifts as I possibly can. When do you sleep? <laughs> well, Cameron and Jake are over at my grandmother's tonight, and Aiden's at Windermere, so I guess I'll have the house to myself. Okay, so you go Windermere and back and over there, and I just, I don't know how you do it. It's worth it. I mean, even when I'm exhausted, the boys are worth it. I bet they are. I mean, Jake was so precious the night of the bus crash. And thank you so much for letting Jason spend some time with him. He really did appreciate it. Well, yeah, I mean, it really helped Jake get his mind off of Cameron. He was so worried about his brother that night. Why is he so, he's so calm? How would you know? Well, when you get to know him, you can tell what he's feeling. He's exactly like Jason. Did you see them playing with the motorcycles together? No. I know, it's so sad that he had no idea he was playing with his dad. Well, look, I, don't, I don't think it's going to take long for him to figure it out. All he has to do is look in the mirror. It's getting pretty obvious, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, I, I just can't imagine what it would be like to look in your child's face and see his father so clearly. Sam, can I ask your professional opinion as a PI? Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm grateful for anything that keeps me occupied. I have a picture I would like you to look at. I need an objective take on it. All right. Oh, not this one, but look how cute Jake is. Oh, no. <gasps> look at that face. He looks so preoccupied. He looks exactly like Jason, you know. I know. He's getting more and more like Jason every day. I guess I'm going to have to explain things sooner than I thought. Well, I think you just have to tell him that Jason never stopped loving him. Everyone was just trying to protect him. Yeah, when the timing is right. I can't just imagine having a child that looks exactly like Jason. Not that I want a baby. I, I, I don't. I don't. Any, anyway, what, what's that, where's that picture? You know what? You need to get back to sleep, and I need to finish my room, so... Are you sure? That's not a problem. Yes. I can... No, I'm, I'm very sure. Let me know if you need anything. Elizabeth, can I speak with you in private for a few minutes? Patrick. Hey. So what's up? I need an opinion and I know you'll be blunt. <laughs> uh, thank you, I think. I'm afraid my vision has been clouded by wishful thinking. I've been guilty of that myself. Look at this picture. What do you see? I see a beautiful little boy. Looks like Aiden, but then again, I am a guy and all babies look the same Where to me. Where does he look like? Nicholas? Or Lucky? Elizabeth, I, uh... Um... Please, I, I just need an objective opinion. <laughs> well, the paternity test said that Nicholas is Aiden's father, right? I, what if Helena switched the test? Why would she do that? I don't know. Maybe because she's insane? Elizabeth, here at the hospital, we have to trust the lab worker. We can't do our job. We can't twist the facts and change the truth to be what we want. What if the truth is staring me in the face? Maybe Aiden looks like Lucky because he really is Lucky's son. 